Painted in 1967, Sigma Polka's Hauser front perfectly exemplifies his subversive approach and parodic commentary on consumer society in post-war Germany. This painting marks the beginning of Polka's explorations into the banality of social reality and image making. Using his painstaking raster dot technique, here we see Polka's interpretation of the Plattenbau buildings that have popped up all over Germany in the 1960s. The Plattenbau apartment blocks were Germany's solution to provide inexpensive housing. Built on a massive scale, these dreary apartment blocks reshaped the country's built environment and by 1990, three million Plattenbau compounds were built across the country. Their goal was to fulfill housing shortages and their motto was an apartment for everyone. Sparsely decorated with trees, the frontal view of the Plattenbau dissolves before the viewer's eyes as the raster dots oscillate and undermine the whole image, forming into another plane of reality. Polka painted Hauser front in grey scale, lying over the canvas and using a tiny paintbrush applying pressure to create his monochromatic depth marking the painting as a work of manual labor. This technique permeates the work with a certain roughness that echoes the bomb-wrecked landscape of post-war Europe. It is crucial to capturing the political weight held within raster-built paintings, a stark contrast to the glossy superficiality of the American dream and its replication by artists such as Lichtenstein and Warhol. In the 1960s, Polka's work galvanized not just West Germany, but the entire landscape of post-war painting. He aligned with contemporaries like Gerhard Richter, Manfred Kuttner and Konrad Lug. And together, they founded the capitalist realism movement, which straddled Germany's state-sponsored style of socialist realism and the subversive nature of pop art. Throughout his career, Polka infused his work with the weight of German socio-economic context and its history. Hauserfront exemplifies his spirit of radical experimentation as it offers a glimpse into this seminal stage of Polka's development as a painter.